Now, finally, it might seem an odd combination, an Oscar-nominated screenwriter who is also a world triathlon champion, but in the career of Leslie Patterson, they are closely linked. She used her winnings to fund her passion project, a remake of the anti-war film All Quiet on the Western Front. It has taken her 16 years to get it made, so more of a marathon than a sprint then. Now she is a front-runner at the Oscars. While many of us strive to be the best in our field, it's probably fair to say that triathlete Leslie Patterson has done that. Twice. This time, it's her writing, not her running, that's got people talking about the five-time world champion. Her film, All Quiet on the Western Front, a favourite this awards season. I think when you're so passionate about telling the story and when you really believe in it, uh, I'm the type of personality that stops at nothing to get it done. <laughs> It's based on a novel that follows the First World War from a German perspective, but printed word was brought to life on screen by the Scottish writer. I had actually read the novel in school uh, in one of my English literature classes, and of course it's a gorgeous masterpiece, uh, and then became aware of it again uh, 16 years ago uh, when we'd seen it in a bookshop. And it's such a, a beautiful novel and such a potent message. Why don't we inquire into who has the rights? To make her dream a reality, Leslie often used her athletic earnings to get the movie off the ground. I've been a professional triathlete for the last 15 years and to try and raise those funds I used a lot of my race earnings to do that uh, because often you get lump sums of money and, and that can go towards an endeavour like this. Two years before I had a I can't wie like Strumpf. The film's been nominated for a record equaling 14 BAFTAs. For Leslie, she's learned lessons from both walks of life. What's the best reaction you get from people when they find out that you do one and the other? They're like, wow, you are an overachiever. My sport has taught me incredible resilience, endurance, uh, overcoming the odds, overcoming obstacles. From the artistic standpoint, um, you know, that creativity has really lended itself to thinking outside the box about how to get things done. The story's no stranger to the Oscars. A 1930 adaptation won Best Picture. With nine nominations, it's returning this year, and so is Leslie. This is actually not your first time going to the Oscars. It is not. It was probably about 12 or 13 years ago and I actually waited tables at the Oscars and I had Judy Dench and uh, Jennifer Lopez on my table. So um, that's definitely going in my Oscar speech, should I win. From the Scottish Hills to Hollywood, years of dedication means that rather than serving the stars, Leslie is now sitting alongside them. Rishi Davda, News at 10, Stirling.